Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'll be showing you how to get every single fighting style in Blocks Fruits. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It's free to do so and really helps me out. Now a quick warning, these are all of the fighting styles as the time of recording. So don't comment something like, oh you forgot blah 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 fighting style, as it probably wasn't even in the game at the time of recording. Let's get straight into the video. These are all the fighting styles in the game. C1. Combat. You start with this fighting style, and if you get off it or buy a different fighting style, then you cannot get it back. It's only got two moves, and it is garbage. Dark Step. You can buy it in the Pirate Village, over here, from the Dark Step teacher for $150,000. These are the moves. So the first move is Flying Kick, you can aim it and let go and then it jumps and smashes. The next is Break Dance, where you can press it and then you spin around in a circle, damaging any enemy around you. Here's a show of the first move again. This is the third move, Barrage. If you hold it, you can aim it with your mouse and you do a barrage of kicks. Then the final move, Overheat, is where your leg goes on fire and you do more damage with your regular moves. If you use overheat a hundred times, then both legs go on fire and it, I believe it might do a little more damage. Dark Step is a prerequisite to Death Step in the second C. Electric. You can buy in the first C over at the Sky Island. If you go to the bottom, over to this rock, at the Mad Scientist, for five hundred thousand dollars. These are the moves. It has three moves. It has a stomp move, where you press it, you jump up and slam right down. You cannot aim it with your mouse. The next move is the electrical tackle, where if you press it, you launch forward, tackling enemies. It's a pretty bad move as it's hard to hit. And then the final move is the electrical floor, where you press it and then it shocks the floor, stunning any enemies that you hit. It is a prerequisite to Electric Claw in the third C. Water Kung Fu. You can buy Water Kung Fu over at the Underwater, which can be found near the prison, which is over there. You head in, and then you can head over to this castle. You go to the right of the castle, and over here, go through this wall and then here is the water kung fu teacher you can buy water kung fu for seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars these are the moves it has three moves the first one is steam charged fist you press it and you do a little hit uh, it's a little bit ranged and it's a pretty decent move here is the move the next move is deadly shower it shoots projectiles and you can aim it with your mouse. The third move is Heavy Water Punch. You can click it and it launches you forward along with any enemies that you hit. It is a decent fighting style. Water Kung Fu is a prerequisite to Sharkman Karate in the second C. Now off to the second C. Dragon Breath. You can get Dragon Breath here in the second C over at this wall. You come over to Sabi, and you can buy it for 1,500 fragments. These are the moves. It has three moves, the first of which being Dragon Rush, where you rush forward twice, dealing a heap of damage two times. The second move is Dragon Flames, where you aim it and there's a little bit of a flame spiral which can hit enemies. Here's the first one again, showing how you can move different directions for both of the rushes. And the final move, the Dragon Explosion, well, just exploding after a little bit of time. I probably wouldn't recommend Dragon Breath as a regular fighting style. Dragon Breath is the prerequisite to Dragon Talon in C3. Superhuman. You can buy Superhuman in the second C over at the snowy island over there. Here we go, Snow Mountain. You head back over here, and in this gap, you can go find the Martial Arts Master. 
can buy superhuman here for three million dollars from a martial arts master in the second C, but you must have 300 or more mastery on dark step, electric, water kung fu, and dragon breath. These are the moves. It has three moves, the first of which being Beast Owl Pounce, where it hits an enemy and then latches onto them, then punches them away. The second move being Thunderclap, which is an AoE that's just around you. It does not have a very good vertical hitbox at all. The Beast Owl Pounce is good for mobility. The third move is Conqueror's Gun. It's an instant, like, teleporting move that does a lot of damage. It can also be used for mobility. Superhuman is a prerequisite to Godhuman in C3. Death Step. You can buy Death Step over there at the Winter Castle or Ice Castle if you go up and find Foyu the Reformed, which is in the library to the right here. You need the library key to open the door to the library, which you can get from the Awakened Ice Admiral boss right over here. You can buy Death Step for two and a half million dollars and five thousand fragments but you also need 400 or more mastery on dark step these are the moves the first move out of the four abilities is the rocket kick which is just a kick at which slams enemies into a wall or slams them far away the longer you hold this move the further it goes so i shall just stand at this corner here and aim at that ice top over there, hold it for about 5 seconds, maybe a little bit longer and let go, and you see I go super far. If I were to only tap that, I'll show you it does not even go half that length. The next move is Wind Bullet, which is a projectile which does a decent amount of damage. Is the rock kick again. Vermilion Drill, which is the third ability, is a held move. You hold it down and it kicks the enemy below you and then when it's finished or when you let go it slams them down into the ground. The fourth ability is maximum overheat. When you use this your legs go on fire and your abilities do more damage. Some of your abilities may even leave a field of fire around it. Here's maximum overheat and here's the moves, the rocket kick with a field of fire. The Wind Bullet, also with the Field of Fire. And the Vermilion Drill, yet again with a Field of Fire. Death Step is a prerequisite to God Human in C3. Sharkman Karate. You can buy Sharkman Karate here in the second C at the Forgotten Island, which is all the way over there. You need to come all the way over here to Digroth the Sharkman. First, you need to get the water key which can be found from the boss over here from a small percentage chance once you have that you come over here and then give it to Digrock. then you can buy sharkman karate for two and a half million dollars and five thousand fragments these are the moves it has three moves, the first of which being a mobility move called the 12 Water Palms. As you can see, that's a move, <laughs> I just barely missed it. But if you hit it, it takes the enemy with you and knocks them away, like so. The second move is Pressure Vortex, which is a projectile. I'll hit it there. I believe it does also break observation. The third move is the Great Sea Spear, which you aim, it brings the enemy in, and then you hit them away. That is usually a combo ender. Sharkman Karate is a prerequisite to God Human in C3. Now, let's head over to the third C, Electric Claw. You can buy it over at Floating Turtle Island. I shall go to Turtle Entrance, head down the path, turn right, Turn right again and continue to the path until you see the previous hero. In order to talk to him, you need to do his challenge, which is you need to go as fast as you can and get to the mansion from here. You need to get to the mansion in under 30 seconds in order to buy Electric Claw. You can buy Electric Claw for $3 million and 5,000 fragments. 
but you also need to have 400 or more mastery on electric. These are the moves. It has three moves, the first of which being the electric rampage. If you tap it, you just go forward with a little like zap going through your enemies. This move can be held, as you can see, to stun the enemies in place. The second move is the lightning thrust. There it is, the lightning thrust. The lightning thrust can be held until it does that noise and that effect in order to go the furthest range. The electric rampage also goes further if you hold it when compared to just tapping it. The third move is thunderclap and flash. That is the move right there. It's a big AoE and if you have your mouse on your opponent, it takes them with you, slams them and makes them go upwards. Here's another showing of the move. All of these moves can be used for mobility, as you can see right now. The Thunderclap and Flash is very good if you want to go forward and down, as it takes you very far down. Electric Claw is a prerequisite to God Human in C3. Dragon Talon. You can buy it over at the Haunted Castle, over to the right side. If you head up, over at this wheel. You buy it from Uzoff, but first, in order to do that, you need to get the Fire Essence, which is a small percent drop from the Death King. The Death King is at the opposite side of the island over here. Where you can talk to him and offer him 50 bones for a random surprise, which has a chance to give you the Fire Essence. You get the bones from killing enemies on this island. You need three million dollars as well as five thousand fragments and at least four hundred or more mastery on dragon breath. These are the moves. It has three moves, the first of which being the talon lighter. This can be used for mobility as it launches you forward and when it grabs onto an enemy, as I'll show you right now, it burns them like a lot, dealing a good amount of damage. The next move is the Ember Annihilator, which is a projectile which you can aim by whichever f way your screen is facing. As you can see, I can aim it upwards after I use it, and it can hit the roof, or I can aim it a certain other direction. Here is the Talon Lighter again. The third and final move is the Infernal Vortex, which when you tap it, is just a big explosion doing a really big amount of damage. The Talon Lighter can only hit one person. Dragon Talon is a prerequisite to God Human in C3. God Human. You can get it over at the Floating Turtle Island yet again. I'll go to the Turtle Mountain and head over to this, well, base sort of thing. Once I'm here, I will head behind it to this tree. Over here at this tree there is an opening you can walk through and if you head down you can get to the Ancient Monk. Now in order to buy God Human, not only do you need 5 million dollars and 5,000 fragments, but you also need not only 400 or more mastery on the following fighting styles, which are Dark Step, Electric, Water Kung Fu, Dragon Breath, Superhuman, Death Step, Sharkman Karate, Electric Claw, and Dragon Talon, but you will also need 10 Dragon Scales from enemies you can find in the lower portion of Hydra Island in the Third Sea, 20 Fish Tails, from any fish enemy, but it's best to do it from C1, 10 mystic droplets from enemies at the Forgotten Island in the second C, and 20 magma ore from magma enemies in the first C, Volcano Island, and second C, Hot and Cold Island. These are the moves. It has three moves, the first of which being Soaring Beast. It is a mobility move. Once it hits an enemy, it does that barrage of attacks and then launches them whichever way your screen is facing. So if I hit them this way, but look upward, it launches them upward over there. It can be very good for combos. The second move has two different abilities when you tap it and when you hold it. The first one is when you tap it, the heaven and earth does a projectile. 
which when hit launches the enemy a little bit upwards. The second part of the move is when you hold the move. When you hold the move, you can hold it and it does an area of effect around you, similar to Superhuman's second ability. The longer you hold it, the more damage it does and the farther the range. The third ability is the sixth realm gun. If you tap it, it does similar to the Conqueror's gun from Superhuman. It has a separate attack if you hold it as well. This attack is an auto aiming attack or almost auto aiming which does more damage and breaks observation as soon as all of the effects go into you then you know it's a second ability that does more damage and it breaks observation the heaven and earth also breaks observation for both of the ways you use it held or click god human is currently not a prerequisite to any fighting style at the time of recording. Sanguine Art. You can buy Sanguine Art at Tiki Outpost. When you come over to the side here, if that's the front, you come over to the side and then come down over here into this great, into the sewer like area from Shafi. In order to talk to him, you need to give him a Leviathan Heart which you can get by bribing the spy at the top of Tiki Island over here until he says that there is a leviathan out there which you will need a beast hunter boat and five or more people in order to find it in the sixth danger zone out that way once you find it and kill it it drops an icy heart which you use the harpoon in the beast hunter boat to get and you bring it back to the front of this tiki outpost over here in order to get the leviathan heart. Once you give Shafi the leviathan heart, you will not only need 5 million dollars and 5,000 fragments, but you will also need 20 demonic wisps from the demonic souls at the haunted castle in the third sea, 20 vampire fangs from vampires at the graveyard in the second sea, as well as two dark fragments from the raid boss Darkbeard in the second sea, which can be summoned by using a fist of darkness found in a random chest after four hours of the server, or a small chance from a sea beast. Then take it to the dark arena and walk into the altar in the center and spawn and kill him. These are the moves. It has three moves. The first move is Bloodbane Drain. It is a little mobility move that does not go very far, but you can use it for mobility if you'd like to. It also latches onto enemies similar to Dragon Talon Z move and launches them away. The cool thing about this is that it also heals you. So here I am low health and I use it and I go up, up some health. It's got very nice clicks. Here I'll use it again and show you how much it heals. The second ability is Scarlet Tear. It is a projectile which goes a decent amount of distance and knocks back enemies. It breaks observation. The third ability is Devourer of Worlds. This has two moves in one. If you use it, you can grab an enemy and then slightly bring them back towards you. Then after a little bit, it comes out and hits them again. But, if you miss the move, it does a completely different interaction with enemies. If you miss it, like right there, it creates an orb, which after a little bit, it explodes and tracks any nearby enemies, damaging them for a quite decent amount of damage. Those are all of its moves. Sanguine Art is not a prerequisite to any fighting style at the time of recording. You now know how to get every fighting style. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please like and subscribe. See you all next time.